Hey, welcome to this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. Now, I'm trying to contain my excitement because it's not every day that you get to drive a cat. And what I'm referring to is this 2013 Jaguar XJ. Now, when I got behind the wheel of the Jaguar, I kind of had a reminiscent past. I actually had a flashback to my junior prom where I actually was able to drive a Jaguar back then. Now, let's just say I haven't aged as well as this vehicle because it does not remind me of back then. It's actually a lot different vehicle. Now, when we talk about numbers, first of all, this vehicle is over 200 inches long. Now, what's even better is the wheelbase. Wheelbase is massively stretched at almost 120 inches. Now, what that means is it kind of gives you that floating appeal. Stretch that wheelbase, obviously spreading out the bumps. Now, the exterior is what draws the attention from everyone that's going by, not to mention, of course, the Jaguar up front. But when you see this, you obviously know right from the start, this is not your average four-wheeler. Now, when you look at it, it does not remind me of my junior prom. That was Jaguar straightforward sedan with a huge trunk lid, huge hood. Now, now this one, of course, has its new dramatic aerodynamic appeal, sloping front end. Now, you may have heard a little name called Aston Martin. A lot of my friends and people looked at this. They actually kind of drew into that. Now, what I love is, of course, it has a low stance, got the wide, nearly uh, six foot wide um, body. And overall, of course, you got the 20 inch rim sitting down here. Now, one little note about these things, you need to be careful. You get near a curb, those things are ruined. So these things scratch up real easy, of course, because you have the low profile tires. Now up front, of course, this is the first thing people are gonna see in the rear view as you're coming up, either cruising by or what some people may prefer is flying. Now this huge hood is a little bit much to look over while you're driving, but what I love is it all comes together with a nice appointed grill. The crisscross, chromed out, Jaguar on the front, all of course body color lower fascia and even chrome grill down low now what again this does is gives you a dramatic sport appeal for a very long sedan now everything on this vehicle is intelligent right down to the headlights now what's great about these is they automatically come on turn off depending on day dark all that kind of thing they actually enhance their abilities as things get darker or you should be going around curves it actually brightens the um, the roadway up for you automatically and of course if other vehicles are on their way towards you at night and you have the high beams on of course it dims them as well now i've seen a lot of these on vehicles and they're that implied porthole now this vehicle is actually real and what that means is it actually allows this engine to breathe it actually takes that heat and actually sucks it out and keeps that engine cool and that's exactly what you want to do on a high performance high-end vehicle like this is allow this air to kind of circulate outside the engine now under the hood, of course, is where you're going to find the power plant and what this vehicle can do. Now this, when we test drove, was kind of the entry-level power plant. It's going to be a 3.0 liter supercharged V6 engine. Now what we found, of course, that delivers about 340 horses and 332 foot-pounds of torque. Now getting this thing off the line, I didn't find it that difficult. This is not the all-wheel drive version, but we were able to scoot it. Now as for numbers, 0 to 60 is going to be around about 5.7 seconds. Now of course, if you supercharge this even more and go to the 5.0 liter V8 engine, of course, that's going to deliver around about 470 horses and drop about a second off that time. Now, I've heard a little rumor about a XJR in 2014 that's going to deliver even more horses over 500. Now, behind the wheel is where Jaguar wants you to feel the most comfortable because this is probably where obviously you're going to spend the most time. And first thing you'll notice is the driver's seat. Right alone, you'll see all the controls on the side of the seat that actually moves this seat forward, backwards, up, down, lumbar, all the different inflation type supports you can get. Now, what was great is I started playing around, actually knew there probably was cooled ventilated seats on here, kind of hot out. So I went looking for it, found this little trick called a massage. I actually found out that if you hit the massage button, hit start, it actually has like kind of roller pins on your back and actually massages you. And it appears that that's both the front seats. But even better is it's comfortable. Gives you plenty of leg room over 40 inches up front and only a couple inch drop in the back. So great lengthy vehicle. And of course, if you go with the L version, that's gonna turn this into more of a limo. And once you have all your comfort in place and you've found your niche, of course, there's tons of memory. You actually got up to three separate drivers can memorize their spot. Now, if this was my vehicle, of course, there'd only be one driver. Now, this is the smart key as always, so you're just gonna press and hold and start this vehicle. And what you'll notice is your gear shifter is right here and actually comes up. Again, James Bondish, but we'll deal with it. Now, again, you got just simple selection, park, re reverse, neutral, and drive, and this little mode called sport. If you press down a little bit and move over to that, that's gonna give you a lot more uh, get up and go off the line. 
Now all XJs come with the 8-speed automatic transmission and a whole bunch of dynamic driving modes here. Now on this vehicle what I found was it has a race flag here. I didn't initially know what that meant. I actually couldn't get it to work, but what I figured out is if I press and hold it, it puts it in dynamic mode. And what that means is that I found it getting a lot more spirited off the line. You actually plant you in your seat as you stomp it. Now, if you prefer to cruise through traffic, take that off, put it in simple drive, and just kind of meander through and let people take notice. Because again, you don't really want to scoot through traffic. You want people to kind of take a minute, rubberneck, and look at you. Because again, this is a lengthy vehicle, about 120 inches uh, in wheelbase. So you don't want to treat it like a, a two-door coupe. You want to remind yourself that this is a sedan, but it can get off the line. Now, of course, we can talk about all the features of this vehicle endless, so I'm just going to kind of wrap it up in kind of one fell swoop. Behind the steering course, we do not no longer have old gauges and a typical needle. We have digital gauges and digital readout, and that gives you all the information you need as you need it. On the steering wheel, of course, you got all the massive controls. Again, you might want to memorize them, kind of work your way through learning how to do it. Paddle shifters, of course, on the steering column gives you that a spirited ride. Uh, you can shift and do all that. If you need to get out of it, just keep it in drive. On the dash, of course, you got the eight inch like screen that has all your information as well. Actually, it will give you your current position as you're driving, and remind you of the road you're on, uh, gives you the climate controls, rear climate, things like that. Again, everything's simplified. No clutter on this vehicle, and of course, it's Jaguar-esque. You're not gonna find clutter extraordinary amount of buttons they've simplified it now again everything you need to find is of course right front and center you got nice comfort beside your arm here and you've got the console that of course holds everything you need and has some jacks and usbs should you need to hook things up this of course has the latest technology and bluetooth and you're able to stream your phone directly to it gives you the readings of what your songs are and things like that i like the cup holder uh, positioning again you need one you open it up you need two you need both of course hide it i think is more elegant now, of course, sweeping across the dash, what I do love is that they've gone with a different kind of styling for your regular air vents you're going to see in Econo cars and things like that. They've actually kind of got this nice cylinder look. You swivel it any direction you want, and it's just another added appeal. As always, of course, we've got to step it up just in the glove compartment alone. It's a touch system here. It automatically pops open. No reaching to reach for the uh, handle, simply up and down. Now once in the back seat, this is where you're going to find yourself if you have something called VP or executive in your title at the bank. Your driver will be up front and you'll be back here. Again, leg room is plentiful, very minimal difference from front to back. And again, when you're back here, you want to have the same amenities. You want to have comfort and that's exactly what you do. Now what's great about that is you can control some of these features from up front or right here. Now what you'll notice down here, you've got the dual climate controls just for these passengers. They can have it warm here, you can have it cold. You want heated seats? We've got them. You want cooled seats? We got them. And again, they're independently controlled. Now, one other things you'll notice, of course, is the oversized armrest. Again, this is executive like driving and riding here. Up here, you have a little storage that you can put phones and things like that. Of course, of course, the cup holder is going to be found here. That tucks away, and you can have simple, you know, everything you need right where you want it. Of course, if you do have the privilege of being driven, you will remember that this is not a limo because there's, of course, not a divider here. But there is a nice, your own moonroof slash sunroof right here, and you simply can control it at your leisure just like that. Now, one little small itsy bitsy complaint in the department of things. While I was driving, actually, I had small kids, my children back here, and I was actually controlling the fan speed up there. It actually got too cool, so I turned it down. Well, unbeknownst to me, my smaller child back here actually was too hot. So she reached down and turned the fan speed up. I assumed that was separate, but it's not. So when she turned it up, it went up. I turned it down, she turned it up. We did this about five times before I realized that she was actually controlling it. So what would be great is if they can control the fan speed independently back here. And must admit, if you can on this vehicle, I could not figure it out. Now, of course, if you own this vehicle, I'm not sure if you'll ever actually load your own luggage, but should you find yourself doing that or going to the grocery store and getting your own items, one, bravo for doing it, but two, you need to know how to get in the back area here. And it's simple. There is no handle. You simply walk up, press this nicely disguised button, and of course, this trunk is powered because we do know the arduous task of lifting the rear trunk lid. Now, again, you put your items in here. Again, typical sedan, cavernous as always. And to close this, we do not want to do it manually, do we? No. Press the button and voila. 
Now, the one thing you'll notice on the interior of this vehicle, of course, is the panoramic-like view you'll have. If you notice, there's like glass in as many places they could find. They've got two moon roofs on the top, and literally in the corners and the back, glass is abundant. Now, when you step inside, you'll notice, of course, the leather is plush. It's perforated for breathing, so it's not, never too hot, never too cold. The, of course, the inside, they've kind of stuck with that traditional wood grain that I remember back in the day, and I like that. They have nice dark accents. Again, regal leather. The, even the headliner is kind of a suede-ish feel. So again, regal appointments, and if you've never actually been able to sit in one of these vehicles and you've got a neighbor that has one, pay them 15 bucks and see if you can get a ride. Now this is a 2013 Jaguar XJ, and now we've just barely touched the surface of what this vehicle can do. And the best thing it can do is actually get you through traffic and get you through life so nicely. This vehicle, again, is massive. It's a huge, nice sedan. And again, reminded some of my lay friends that, you know, this is kind of looks like an Aston Martin, looks like a sports car. Again, with that sweeping roof line that kind of tails into the rear end. Now this does it for this edition of Road Warrior. And what I'm gonna leave you with is what we call a lot of B-roll in the industry. The way that what I'm gonna do is just let this vehicle talk for itself. Again, a lot of innovations, but I want you to look at what this vehicle can offer. Now, again, I'd like to thank you for watching this edition of Road Warrior. I'm your host, Grant Robertson. And as always, keep both hands on the wheel and eyes straight ahead.